The warthog, a wild boar that prefers to avoid contact with humans, is widely acknowledged as the progenitor of all pigs. They first appeared on Earth a long time ago, and their great latent vitality allowed them to endure the Ice Age and continue existing to this day. Fangs that sprout from their mouths at an alarmingly early age are the most obvious distinction between a domesticated boar and a warthog. The feral nature of the warthog's fangs aids it in digging for food and also in protecting itself from predators. They enjoy wallowing in the mud in the summer to cool off and rid themselves of any parasites that may have settled on their skin. Warthogs are omnivores because they consume any and all edible objects they come across. Grass, rhizomes, crops, fruits, and even tiny mollusks. The male warthog is larger and heavier than the female, although they both share the same distinctive grey-brown striped coat. The male warthog sports a long flowing mane in the cooler months, whereas female warthogs lack this characteristic. Because of their preference for a solitary existence, males rarely congregate with the herd unless during mating season. Female warthogs typically take the lead in herds, and it is their job to protect the young and teach them how to forage and fight for themselves. In spite of appearances, they are capable of speeds of up to 45 km per hour when running. The warthog is not only one of the fastest land animals, but also one of the best swimmers in the animal kingdom. On a hot summer afternoon in the African forest, in the distance, a hungry predator is lying in wait for its prey to be caught. It must have been its best meal at the moment. The hunter approaches after a lengthy period of probing. The tall grass barrier allows it to sneak up on its prey undetected. As soon as the warthog detects the lion's scent, they begin a furious pursuit. The prey is caught after it has run for a few minutes away from the gateway between life and death. The hunter has won the spoils, it is taking the prey back to the shelter to eat it. Hyenas far away are enticed by the meal, but they are too afraid to get any closer. When they detect the scent of blood, the wild dogs join the lion in a stampede for the kill. After one of the party is attacked by the hunter, the others try and take over the meal. They are all biting each other like mad as they try to defend their mutual comrade. One of the lions sees the throng and comes to protect its teammate. With additional help, the hunter becomes more dangerous. By biting the wild dogs in vulnerable areas, they are able to weaken them. Aware of how formidable the lions are, the dogs hastily break up the formation and flee. The eagle, king of the skies, can grow up to be 1 meter long and weigh up to 70 kilograms. The wingspan of an eagle is around 2 meters in length. The eagle spots its prey from above and dives at light speed to capture it. But it lets its prey escape. Not far away, a leopard is slowly approaching. It quickly ascends the tree, reaches the eagle's neck, and bites it to prevent the prey from flying away. Seemingly still not full, the leopard continues to dig the lair to catch new prey. It exhausts itself, digging until it discovers a valuable meal. The prey detects the predator and narrowly escapes the cave, setting off in pursuit once more.
The hunter's sharp claws eventually capture the prey after it has narrowly escaped several times. It attacks by leaping at the throat of its prey and suffocating it to death. The predator finds this location to be an easy target for other predators, so it transports the animal to a secure location where it can be eaten raw. Antelopes are the most tame herbivores in the animal kingdom, making them easy targets for the most dangerous predators. They have no idea a savage killer is hiding nearby. A hunger-stricken hunter spots unsuspecting prey and readies for an ambush. In a panic, the prey hurries towards the horde. The hunter anticipates the target's movements and maneuvers it into a hopeless situation so that it cannot simply join the rest of the swarming attacking. Perhaps today is the end of the antelope, when the hunter is too thirsty for blood. It fiercely chases its prey to the end. Because it is too tired, the prey gradually loses strength. The opportunistic hunter seizes the moment to pounce and bites down on the animal's neck so it can't move. The prey loses too much blood, so it dies to be eaten by the hunter. The antelopes panic as they see their friend being eaten right in front of them. They can only run fast before the lion moves on to the next target. Elephants, the largest land mammal on Earth, are between 3 and 6 meters in length and weigh between 3,000 and 6,000 kilograms on average. They consume a lot of food due to their enormous frame. Elephants are born and raised with the sole purpose of locating sources of water and food. Elephants in the wild frequently rummage through dirt and grass in search of edible roots, saplings, and grasses. Even though they look huge and heavy, their trunks are actually surprisingly adaptable. They break branches with their trunks and carry the food they find to their mouths. Suddenly, as they stop to drink water, the herd leader is ambushed by a crocodile that has been lying in wait in the river. One of the elephants has his trunk chewed off by a predator. Elephants with damaged trunks can still survive without causing any fatalities, though they may require assistance from other members of the herd when foraging for food or fending off predators. After the target successfully escapes, the crocodile moves to another place and immediately encounters the lions. When faced with such a massive hostile force, the lone crocodile stands little chance. The two are in a condition of mutual defense though, because of their formidable battle prowess. After much effort, the crocodile is likewise able to free itself from the king's grasp. Having exhausted its current food supply, it leaves in search of fresh kills. Considered the most advanced of all reptiles, the crocodile is known as a fierce hunter with sharp teeth that can crush any prey in an instant. Zebra's striped coats are very distinctive, making it easy for them to identify each other when the enemy tries to separate an individual to attack. The zebras, as is their custom, are making preparations to ford the river so that they can reach their usual grazing grounds. As a result of the crocodile's prior unsuccessful invasion attempts, it is approaching this one with increased caution. The cold-blooded predator that is hiding beneath the water is keeping a close eye on the situation. When it detects that the prey is getting closer, it extends its jaws wide and bites the back of the victim's neck. So, preventing the victim from being able to defend itself, the unfortunate victim ultimately becomes a scrumptious meal for the crocodile after being subjected to the pressure of the water and the excruciating pain in the neck. The zebras are terrified after they see their companion being devoured in front of them and run to the shore as quickly as they could, 
because the predator moves so swiftly and dangerously. All they can do when they watch their allies fall into the hands of the adversary is look mournfully at them.